agriculture. The term agriculture is derived from Latin words agar, pieces of land, and culture, plowing or tilling. The term agriculture, however, is not restricted to growing of crops, rather it includes rearing of animals also. Some scholars include animal husbandry, forestry, horticulture, fishing, sericulture, and poultry also in agriculture. Agriculture is one of the oldest activities of mankind. Agriculture is the most basic resource as it provides food, clothing, and shelter to mankind. Since time immemorial, the spread of agriculture in various parts of the world recorded progress from the use of most primitive implements to the most modern implements of today. Most of the farming operations are highly mechanized. The dawn of agriculture may be traced back to the Neolithic period. The early river valley civilizations that arose on the banks of rivers in river valleys and their deltas were based on agriculture only. Later, agriculture expanded in drier and colder regions. The map given above shows the distribution of arable land in the world. You will notice that cultivation of crops is possible only in limited areas. Soil, temperature and rainfall are some of the important physical controls. Every crop has certain basic requirements of temperature, moisture and nutrients. While some crops are suitable for tropical climate, others may be grown only in subtropical and temperate regions. Methods of cultivation have improved a lot since ancient times. The early farmers used only simple tools like hoes and sickles. Gradually, ox-drawn ploughs were introduced. In developed countries today, all farm operations have been mechanized. Tractors with multiple attachments perform different functions. It has reduced the number of people occupied in agricultural work. Large number of people in these countries are engaged in other occupations like industries and services. Types of Agriculture Based on agricultural practices, crops grown, the types of livestock kept, and the proportion of output retained by the farmer, agriculture may be broadly divided into two categories. 1. Subsistence Agriculture 2. Commercial Agriculture Subsistence Agriculture This type of agriculture is practiced mainly to meet the requirements of the local community. Most of the products are grown and consumed within the area where they are produced. It includes mainly three types of agricultural practices. A. Nomadic herding B. Shifting cultivation C. Intensive agriculture Nomadic herding This is practiced by those people who rear cattle, sheep, goats, camels and yak. These animals are dependent on natural vegetation in the area. Herders move with their animals from one place to another in search of fodder. Shifting cultivation It is a simple and primitive method of farming. This type of farming is practiced by clearing a patch of forest or by burning bushes. A patch of land is cleared and then cultivated. It is also known as slash and burn agriculture. When the crops are ready, the people join together, harvest and store for consumption. These people do not lead a settled life. The land is prepared for cultivation by felling trees and burning them. Crops like maize and cassava are grown using simple tools. The produce is consumed by the community. People move from one area to another when soil loses its fertility. Intensive Agriculture In this method of farming, even from a small piece of land, farmers get a very high yield by using good quality seeds, ample fertilizers, ensuring regular water supply and applying more laborers. Besides, more than one crop is taken from the same piece of land because of fertile soil and good climate. It is prevalent mostly in the monsoon regions of South, Southeast and East Asia. Rice is the main crop. Besides wheat, maize, 
pulses and oil seeds are also grown a variety of crops are usually grown by a farmer because most of the produce is for their own consumption commercial agriculture the main purpose of this kind of agriculture is to sell the produce in the market therefore one particular crop suitable for the region is selected by the farmer it is called crop specialization this type of agriculture has two main forms commercial grain farming this is mostly practiced in middle latitudes crops are grown for commercial purpose in many developed countries such as canada usa russia ukraine argentina and australia and in some parts of india wheat is the most important crop grown in india in usa there are distinct wheat corn and cotton belts in these areas population density is low as a result per person availability of land is very high farms are of big sizes spreading over hundreds of hectares most of the work on the farms are done by machines like tractors levelers seed drills and combined harvesters compared to intensive agriculture the amount of labor and capital applied per unit area is relatively small here it is therefore called extensive agriculture but the total production is very high because of large area under cultivation in europe there has been a trend for diversification of crops instead of specialization the crops grown are cereals vegetables oil seeds and roots when crops are combined with livestock the type of farming is known as mixed farming raising of cattle for milk products known as dairy farming is also prevalent in most of the countries plantation agriculture plantation agriculture is the practice of agriculture which is a specialization of a single crop over large estates or farms where most of the work is done by a scientific basis and where the product is processed before it becomes market oriented most of the plantations are grown in the tropical region under hot and humid climatic conditions the plantations are large in size and a large number of laborers are needed to work on them though there are fluctuations in the international market yet plantation agriculture is profitable these plantations were originally developed by europeans now most of them are owned and managed by the local governments or private companies the produce is sold in the national as well as international market tea in india and sri lanka coffee in brazil and colombia banana in latin america and caribbean islands cocoa in ghana sugarcane in cuba etc are some specialized plantation crops earlier the plantations were developed in colonies with colonialism coming to an end the plantations are now managed by the local residents of independent states horticulture growing of fruits and vegetables truck farming growing of vegetables around big cities for local consumption and floriculture growing of flowers have also emerged as new trends in commercial agriculture trivia the international assessment of agricultural science and technology for development iaa std focuses on agriculture as the provider of food nutrition health environmental services and economic growth that is both sustainable and socially equitable